Well, in a shocking development, U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband, Paul Pelosi, was assaulted after a home break-in. Paul Pelosi was attacked with a hammer, fracturing his skull after breaking into the California home. Drew Hamill, the spokesperson for Nancy Pelosi, said an assailant broke into the couple's house in San Francisco and violently assaulted the spokesman for, or the husband rather, of Nancy Pelosi. The assailant is in custody and the motivation for the attack is under investigation. The Democratic Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives, who was second in line to the presidency, was not at home at that time. The circumstances of the attack were unclear, including how the intruder got into the house. Pelosi is one of the most powerful politicians in the U.S., second in line to the presidency after Vice President Kamala Harris. I want us to take a short pause to send our love to Nancy and Paul Pelosi. I've been on the phone with Nancy, arranged for her to be able to get from Washington out to, uh, out to see her husband, Bobby, who says he, she's in the plane now, heading out there. And uh, you've seen the news. He was attacked in her home, and uh, when I spoke to the speaker, she said that uh, he's doing okay. He went to the hospital, was operated on. And uh, he seems to be coming along well. This was an act of extreme violence. And I think we're looking at a, at a time in our country where there is so much discourse that is fueled by hate and division. And anyone who professes to be a leader, I think, has to really understand the, the, the meaning and the, and the impact of their words and their posture on things. Um, I pray for Paul's recovery. Um, I know the Pelosi's, and um, it, this is tragic. Somebody literally broke into their home, saying, "Where's Nancy?" And um, and I I strongly believe that we all, each one of us, have to speak out against hate. We have to speak out against violence, obviously. 